Hi, welcome back to Nana Debbie's Kitchen. We're going to make some fried zucchini uh, sticks. Fried zucchini sticks. And I've got the oil heating up in the pan. I'll post this recipe on my website at nanadebbieskitchen.com. Uh, but for right now, I've got four zucchinis just cut up into spears. I really just cut them into fourths and if one piece was too big, I just kind of sliced it again. Three quarters of a cup of Italian breadcrumbs and you need a shallow kind of dish for this so I'm using my mother's pie dish. Okay, so the panko Parmesan cheese. It's just the stuff in the can. You can get fresh if you want. I didn't have it, so I'm using this. Salt. And pepper. Okay, I've got two eggs that I'm beating. Nothing added to it, just two eggs. We're going to take the zucchini spear. This is messy, but oh my goodness, these are really good. I did the same thing before. All right, I'm just getting these ready because when you start cooking these, they cook fast. And if you're not ready for it, you're in trouble. I've done that before too. And then you'll want to get a plate ready for the ones that are that will be coming out of the oil and line your plate with a couple paper towels. I got it, thank you though. David is so much help to me with this. Of course, she likes to eat all this stuff too, don't you? I do too. these at a medium high heat uh, because you don't want them frying slow and getting all soggy you know absorbing the oil so kind of high can you see this that is going to be delicious if you when these are done uh, you can dip them in marinara, you can dip them in ranch. I don't have either one, but I do have some poppy seed dressing, so I'll dip mine in that. I like poppy seed anyway, so I'm fine with that. <clears throat> I fry zucchini, sometimes I'll just slice it in little like rings and fix it but I like this better either way is good I like uh, fried zucchini I like fried green tomatoes I probably need to do a little video on that too my husband doesn't tell anybody and he doesn't do much of it anymore especially since I'm retired but 
Uh, he can cook too. He's actually a really good cook. And I'm not talking about, I mean, he can cook on the grill too, but I mean, he can go over to that stove or to that oven and he can cook and he can make some delicious from scratch brownies. Well, these are done. I'm gonna, while they're hot, just a little bit of salt on them. Don't need too much. And a little bit of fresh chopped parsley. For the best part, taste test. These are hot, really hot. Ooh, my goodness. These are so good. This is red hot. <laughs> it's so good. You almost want to eat it anyway. Mm mm mm. Got a crunch. Mm. Okay. Well, I'll put the recipe on nanadebbieskitchen.com. Come back, and we're gonna make something else good together. I do have a recipe that I've never made before. I'm gonna try it out, and I'm going to make some uh, sugar-free brownies. I'm not sure if that'll be my next one or the one after, but we're gonna get that one in there for my cousin. Thanks. Bye.